Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. This is Wednesday, September 2nd. It's hump day. We made it. It's half of the week. Half of the week's already gone. That's a good thing. So God bless you today. I hope you have a great day today. Uh, we actually got some good news after the storms for today. Now, this is your uh, outlook for, for convec convection activity today. Uh, you got it from Arkansas all the way up to Kentucky. We have some storms popping through uh, today and later on tonight that you got to watch out for. As well as from uh, Virginia all the way up to Vermont, you have a, a area of convection activity. You got to watch out. It could be a possibility for tornadoes for y'all as well. Uh, now, as you turn that off and you check out what's going on today, you see the excessive uh, precipitation that's going to be falling today. And you have a very high warning over here in Little Rock. You're going to get a lot of excessive uh, rain today, but you're also in a flash flood uh, warning today because you've been having so much rain day after day after day it's just been repetitious and this is going to go all the way up towards the east coast now the heavy part of the rainfall as you can see is going to be a lot of it in texas today Te texas is getting a lot of storms and it's really starting to add up to some bad problems maybe even some flooding issues so let me go through this hour by hour let's just let's see what's going on first off first thing this morning the northeast is having problems with some storms but these storms are going to pass by 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 early this morning and it, it will be gone now you're going to get the storms that the central u.s is going to be getting you're going to be getting that later on tomorrow but these storms today are going to pass by and then later on around 5 p.m is where you're having your, your biggest problem as far as the convection activity because these storms are are popping up all these cells popping up is pretty bad little cell storms and they have convection activity so these could easily turn into tornadoes so be aware of this this afternoon anytime from five o'clock all the way to eight o'clock it looks like it's pretty rough cells passing through uh, they stop around 10 so that's a good thing uh, now in the central u.s you have a lot of uh heavier rainfall coming today you can see a big explosion this morning it starts off in texas a lot of heavy rainfall as it goes through Arkansas. Now, this is all the way until noon today for Texas. Then it's going to switch over and go to Arkansas where you have a lot of flooding already. Now, these same storms, when it gets through this afternoon, these are, these are the storms you got to watch out for. These ones popping up right here. This is going to be, be a convective uh, activity storms that's going to be causing problems. You know, all these little pop-ups. It could be tornado possibilities for that area. So be, be careful as you go in this evening for that. That's the most time that you're going to have it. Now, as it comes through the morning, you're going to see it moving through. The, this whole line of storms is going to move from Kentucky all the way to the northeast, and the northeast is going to get those uh, tomorrow. Now, this is the a.m. for Louisville. Louisville, you're going to be getting a lot of uh, severe thunderstorms overnight. You're going to be hearing that while you're trying to sleep. But as it gets into tomorrow p.m., the same storms hitting the northeast as they, as they move along. Now, the good thing is, have you noticed, uh, Florida also does get a little pop-up of storms. But after we pass these storms today, and the storms go to the northeast tomorrow, you can see Florida has pop-up of storms over there by Tampa, and we get some in North Dakota and uh, Minneapolis as well. But after that, the rain stops for tomorrow. The whole area here that's been having this day after day of day of rain and flash flooding, tomorrow I'm showing no rain for you guys. If any, it will be very minimum. So that's a good thing. You get a chance to dry out. I know you've probably been miserable with all that stuff that's been going on. I don't blame you. Now let me show you exactly what's going on with your temperatures today. Uh, you do have your dew points. You can see in the blues, this is where it's real sticky and muggy in the 70s. That's where your dew points is going to be today. And uh, your hot temperatures, you see why, is going to be all in the 70s and 80s as well for that area. Now, you do have the 90s over here down in below Texas and part of Louisiana, so you have a little heat advisory for y'all. And I know it's not no fun because y'all still have power outages over there. Over a quarter million still in Louisiana and over 38,000 still in Texas. So remember, you can come here and it's updates every 10 minutes. It lets you know which power company is working on your problem. So that would be good to know. Um, now, in the next six days for our temperature, it's going to be well below average and all this blue region here and above average on the coast, on each side of the coast. But when you go from the 8 to 14 days, it does move further south. So it will help y'all with y'all dew points and y'all hot temperatures y'all will be having. So hopefully sooner or later, these temperatures will go away and you start to get into a little more peace and quiet like you want to have instead of all this hotness and no power. And I'm from Louisiana. I know how it is down there. You wake up 8 o'clock in the morning and you're getting pimples. It's just nasty down there. So 
So God bless all of you going through that. I also like to make a little note that any videos that I do besides my morning dailies, none of the scriptures is going to change from, from what I do in the mornings because now, not today, but soon, I'm going to be starting uh, all my dailies. Instead of just doing scriptures to help, I'm going to read the whole King James Old Testament and New Testament to you guys. So on a daily basis, I'm going to read a section of, of, of the Old and New Testament. Now, it's going to be from page one. We're going to read the whole book. So every morning, part of that story is going to be released. So if you want to stay on with that and, and listen to the Bible every morning, eventually you will hear the whole thing because I'm going to go through the whole Bible. So God bless you all. I hope you do hang out for that because it is uh, not only the, the Word of God, it, great adventures and great stories in the Bible. I'll tell you, it will keep you going the more you read it. Now, Psalms 13. How long, O Jehovah, will you forget me forever? How long will you conceal your face from me? How long shall I set resistance in my soul, grief in my heart by day? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Do look upon me, answer me, O Jehovah my God. Do make my eyes shine, that I may not fall asleep in death, that my enemy may not say I have won over I have won out over him, that my adversaries themselves may not be joyful because I am made to stagger. As for me, in your loving kindness I have trusted. Let my heart be joyful in your salvation. I will sing to Jehovah, for he has dealt rewardly with me. Amen. God bless you all today. Hope you have a great day. It's a Wednesday. It's a good day because after these storms pass by, this rain's going away, guys. You can start drying out a little bit. So that, that is a blessing in itself. So God bless you all today. And thank you for watching.